and we've got the spirit of 1945, which has never left Manchester ever. Never left bowls over. How do you think we won? I said to my dad, I said, I know Churchill is dad. I were only 10 years of age. And he, I said, who's our man? I, I, I don't know him. He said, well, he's got some good people around him, son. And boy, had he. We hadn't got any money. It was like everybody had been in a recession, wasn't it? Nobody got any money after the war. And yet, despite nobody having any money, not here, not Germany, not France, not Italy, it was like a worldwide banker's recession. <laughs> we hadn't got the money in. Nye Bevan said, we're going to build a national health service. And I'm certain that Stafford Cripps said to him, where the hell do you think the money? Well, he wouldn't say it just like that. <laughs> Where's the money going to come from, Nye? He says, we're going to borrow it. Just like they do in the private sector when they expand. Do you think when Tesco's expand that they tell one of their officials to get some money out of the Tesco safe? <laughs> when the private industry expand, they get it out of somebody else's safe. I mean, what's all this business about? You can't borrow money to expand the economy. That's how you get out of every recession. And that's not left-wing talk. That's from Keynesianism. That's all it is. So after the Second World War, without a penny to spend, we built a National Health Service. We built council houses in every town and city throughout the land. We found jobs for 600,000 people coming out of the army and the Air Force that needed new jobs and for all those women that had been in the factories as well. We actually introduced pensions for all and free education all in five years and at the end of it, what was the unemployment? 2.2%, 440,000. That's all. Don't tell me we should follow this mantra that was devised by Thatcher and Reagan that you've got to, you can't borrow for the next generation. Everybody with a mortgage has been doing it all their life. It's a nonsense. We have to get this out of our system. We're not going to be able to give these lo local authority people some of that money back unless we borrow money. You have to give those workers better wages, a living wage, in order to give the propensity to spend of those people that will spend. The trickle-down economy will never work. The idea that you give money to the wealthy millionaires and they're going to spend the money, it's a nonsense. They put it in a Swiss bank or somewhere similar. <laughs> Let's get real.